Hi, I'm Carl. We build curtain walls and storefronts here at Allied Glazing. I'm in charge of the cutoff sauce. The meeting we just had started as one big argument. The salespeople were celebrating a really big sale. It was a little bit tight on the pricing, they said. Well, that really set everybody off. Purchasing was free. The vendor's first cut on the material costs meant the budget was out the window. The plant manager was free. The labor estimates were way too low. We're going to be paying for a lot of overtime, he said. The engineers were freaked. They had never been consulted. There was no way this was going to be profitable. The owner was really freaked. This was a big sale. He could lose his shirt. Well, Carl, the owner said, you're the new guy. What do you think? Hmm. We had the same problem in the plant I worked at before. After losing a lot of money, they made some changes that made a big difference. Well, what were they? The sales guy blurted out. He was grasping at straws by now. Well, I said, they stopped letting the supplier do their takeoffs and optimization. They stopped looking at scrap as a profit center. They stopped sending reams of paper out to the plant floor. They stopped returning defective material to their vendors. They stopped tracking the drops from the cutting department. They stopped cutting extras for just in case. They stopped doing setups. And most of all, they stopped the waste in labor and materials that the old way of doing things had caused. That's ridiculous, spat the plant manager. Not possible, chimed in Cal from engineering. Judy, the purchasing manager, just looked sour and was shaking her head. The owner looked at me and asked, did they really do all that? Yep, sure did. In fact, that's why your friendly competitor was able to underbid you for the last five years. Okay, give me a number. How much did they really save? Well, by putting more material into the product and less into scrap, we ended up saving 10% on material costs alone. But labor really came into line. We had been running 15 to 20% over budget because of all the overtime. Within less than a month, overtime became just a memory. The owner looked down and softly said, wow, that could put at least three to 5% more on our bottom line. He looked a little startled when he realized he had said this aloud. <clears throat> How did they do all this, he said. Well, I said, it wasn't all that difficult. Tiger Stop with dynamic optimization. We can add it to our existing equipment. It's been around for 20 years and thousands of companies use it every day. My old company went from being only marginally profitable to being healthy again in a matter of months. Tell you what, this story is way too long for me to explain. You need to call my buddy Jack if you're serious about stopping waste. He's the guy that got us out of the ditch and back into the fast lane. So call Jack anytime at 360-448-6140 or on his cell at 503-575-8227.